Hello and welcome back to the channel, my name is Crashy, and today we're going to be doing an Aegis Slash A to Z educational commentary. Now I'm going to be playing Aegis Slash in the jungle, that's how I prefer to play it personally, and I've been having a lot of fun on it. been decently successful on it whenever, uh, <laughs> when things kind of go my way and are working out well. So let's go ahead and dive into this game. So, let's see, we've got a decent team comp. I'd say it's decent. The enemy team probably has like a slightly better team comp, depending on who their jungler is, because either Charizard or Cinder are going to be jungling. In any case, we're going to go on ahead and dive into this and try to uh, give a little bit of tips and at least my thought process whenever I'm playing uh, Age of Slash. So we take the Shadow Sneak, we're going to dive over the wall, and we're going to go into our jungle rotation. Now, my build that I've really locked in on has been the Weakness Policy, the Focus Band, and the Buddy Barrier. I think like I really like being defensive on this character and being able to survive. The thing about this character is that like in team fights, you have to have the follow-up. You have to have the proper follow-up if people kind of like don't help you out. You want to pop your iron defense in the middle of your clear as well. Uh, if people don't follow up, it's going to be hard for you to get what you need. So yeah, for, for clearing, you want to use your shadow sneak and your iron defense. So like right here, I'm going to shadow sneak and I'm going to step out of the way of the knockup. I'm going to turn on my iron defense. It's going to hit me. I'm going to get a stack. So I get that stack and then we kill it with shadow sneak. So just use everything you have and uh, yeah. As for the battle item, I do think that full heal is necessary on this character. Uh, it feels like it's really, really hard to play this character without it. So let's see what we can do here. Maybe we can help secure this. Nice. We'll go ahead and get that kill. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go for back crab really quickly too. We'll help him with his back crab. We'll see if they want it. If not, I'll grab it. Okay, cool. So we get him in the back, their back crab. And let's go ahead and dive into the, the 850 bees. First bees. All right. I can get a little aggressive here. Nice. We'll pop my uh, my iron defense. We'll go ahead and back out. I think he's probably going to die there, unfortunately. Yeah. It's not great, but, you know, it is what it is. I think that's a buddy. Uh, we are a uh, score shield. I don't know why I said buddy. All right. So he's going to go ahead and stay in the lane for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go back into jungle rotation. So no mid farm for me, but that's okay. He may even base and just go straight to his jungle. But we're going to get back into the jungle. And depending on my health, we'll see what we do. But we're going to go for a clear now. So we're back into clearing again, making sure we're using our iron defense for this. Making sure we're using what we have. You want to make sure you step away. See, I even missed there. Step away for the Sacred Sword so that way you don't miss and, and like kind of like ruin your your uh, boosted auto. So you want to make sure that you're hitting inside the triangle for your boosted auto. All right. So we're going to kill that, and then we're going to go with our wide guard. So let's go ahead and use the wide guard boosted to heal myself. And we'll go and see if there's any mid farm up. Then this is a section of the game where you can look for ganks. You can look for, um, you know, mid farm. You got to get ready for 720 Bs though. So I'm going to be here ready for 720 Bs. Oh, can you stop that? Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take that down. 720 Bs are up. I got to wait a little bit on my sacred sword. Also, you need follow up because you can kind of get thrown in the back lines very easily. All right, so we got the we got some of those bees. I'm a little ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and red buff here or uh, full heal. All right, let's see if my teammates will follow up on me. I can use these uh, stacks to heal myself. So shield stacks will heal yourself, and we can kind of pop off big here. All right, so we're gonna kite back now. Okay, cool. Kite back there, and we're gonna take our time. And hopefully, I, I'm gonna go ahead and double berry. So it looks like we broke the bottom goal. So their Cinder's pushing for nine. I'm pushing for nine. I want to just fight with them and kind of like play off of them. Okay, because I'm actually winning the race to nine, so we can just like play aggressive on this and just kind of read the fight. All right, so like look, now we like turn and fight, you know. Use my boosted shield to heal. Okay, we do need to fight though. Okay, let's get in there. Wide guard, use my boosted to heal. Good. All right, now let's burst this. Let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, good job. So now we finish that up. Uh, we lose top a little bit, but that's okay. 550 Bs are very, very close from now. So I'm going to go ahead and wait. Top lane getting beaten here is actually fine. The 550 Bs are going to spawn. We do have jungle up. So now, like our Decidueye can start taking jungle. Uh, or pretty much anybody can start taking jungle buffs. Usually I would go back in and take jungle, but since nobody's in the lane here, I'm going to go ahead and hold the off lane. So I'm getting, I'm doing two things right now. I'm farming for bees, and I'm also holding 
off lane. So now Decidueye can farm buffs, which is totally acceptable and appropriate here, and I can hold the off lane, right? All right. So he's going to use that. Oh, okay. So home, Homeboy wants to pop off a little bit. I don't want to give that up for free. So I'm going to go back to top lane. I want to I want to hold the off lane. I don't want to let the Greedent run back and forth the whole game just trying to score. So... All right, they, they chase down a kill. This gives me... Look at this. Yeah, look at this opportunity right here. This gives me an opportunity not to just let him do what he wants to do. No. Yeah, no. Not going to not gonna have it, you know? We're going to save our boosted autos because he could always just step back in and try to get me to, like, bait my abilities. And the team's just, like, kind of rotating around the map, so... I'm looking for farm, but I'm also looking to hold, right? Because my team's just kind of running around like, a, like it's an arcade game a little bit. So, like, look, we give up 13 just because we're not staggered and, like, holding the map. Which, 13 is not a problem, but, like, it could be avoided to give up, right? If you want to step back in, I'm totally fine with it. I'll heal myself off my boosteds and take a free kill. So that's good. Yeah, I feel like our team is playing a little arcadey, meaning, like, they're just, like, all over the place a little bit. Um, I'm totally fine with, like, conceding the Rotom a little bit. Like, this guy, he just wants to turn, and that's literally all he wants to do. So, we force that Unite move, which is good. We get a Unite move of our own. They're probably going to get the, uh... They're probably going to get the, uh, the, the Rotom, so we're just going to blow this up if we can. Okay. Use my ult just in case. We're going to dive into this. Look, I get the knockback. So I push myself forward with the Sacred Sword. We get the knockback. Let's see what direction she's going. Got my heals, but she's honestly a little too strong for me with her uh, with her stem on with an LD. So I'm just going ahead and peel back. All right, so now he can keep farming jungle. I'm totally fine with that. It, it doesn't really matter to me. I need the Decidueye to be strong anyways, and I'll hold our off lane. Um, the point there was that, like, I just want to make sure that we're holding off lanes, we're playing appropriately, and I'm trying my best to explain, like, my thought process with my stacks, right? Because that's, I think, the big thing is, like, if I go in, if I initiate with sword, I'm going to always try to get behind them with one slash and then use a wide guard so I can stun. So you're going to see me doing that quite a bit. I'm also just trying to pay attention on the map to wherever the Greedon is, because like I feel a little bit more comfortable farming this if I know that the Greedon's not here. Use a wide guard in the middle of nowhere and cancel it just so I can build up a stack. So I'm, I'm in def I'm in like my defensive mode because I'm in sword stance. Is this guy still a Charmeleon? How's that possible? I'm in sword. I was in shield stance, um, but also you know allows me to be defensive whenever like someone's poking at me at range or whatever. So yeah, we'll go for this. Just do some damage and get what we can. Ah, see, no one holding the off lane. Same, look, always. No one, everybody, no one ever holds off lanes. You have to be holding off lanes. There's nothing we gain by all being here right now. So use this as a learning experience. Us, not like he's going to steal bees and go score more as well. And we're, nobody's stopping him. But at this point, there's no real reason to stop him um, because it's just like a little too late. Like, I don't know. Maybe I could go for it, but honestly, I'd rather have my buff. So whatever, whatever, whatever score turnaround he does is all because we're just being lazy and not holding our off lanes. So. It is what it is, but it's like a it's a measure of discipline that needs to be had. Like you have to be willing to just like sit in the off lane and hold, right? All right, so we get the we get the the unite move off of him actually cuz he doesn't want to die there. So that's kind of big. I want this red buff. Puts me closer to 13. I can't believe that guy is still not a Charizard. I actually can't believe that. It's close battle, so we actually still need to win the game. Um but what we can do is we're going to start hitting. So we're going to like pull him in. I'm not flipping, but I'm hitting, right? Okay. We're going to wide guard here so I can heal myself. I have three shield boosted. It's one, two. Okay, so I'm healing myself. Now we hard initiate here. Okay. The Cinder is still alive somewhere. The Cinder's hiding. Cinder's probably hiding in top L. Yep. And he knows that as well. Yep, and we're going to chase him out, because there's no way we're going to let him get an old steal, right? And now our Garchomp can get it. I've got my Unite move, we'll hold it, and that's the game. So, I feel like this was actually a really good game, because it showed a lot of things. It showed the importance of holding off lanes, it shows the importance of, like, if you're the jungler, you don't need all of the jungle. It's true, I like to get all of it, because I want to get as much as I can, but you don't need all the jungle. You can get a lot of farm, you can hold the off lane, you can be the person that takes over 550Bs, or just B rolls, you can be farming the mid. You always want to be holding your off lanes. Like, look at that. I honestly had an amazing game. Zero points scored.
I don't need points scored. I don't need, you know, 50, 70,000 damage. I just need to make sure that we're securing the fights. Um, at the very end there, it was a little scatterbrained and I was just like hitting the Zapdos and we were pulling them in. Once the Pikachu came in, I go in sh uh, shield form. He, he full burst me. I go shield form. I use my shield boosts to heal myself back up. So when it comes to Aegislash, you want to constantly be using your form switching to achieve whatever goal you need. So if I'm shield mode, I need to be healing myself if I'm low. If I'm shield mode and I have stacks and I'm not low, I need to be preparing to go back into sword mode so I can go back into bursting. So there you have it, friends. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I hope you learned something off of this. Let me know if you like this series because I definitely like to do it and I'll keep going down that A to Z list. We had to throw Age of Slash back in. So as always, friends, be sure to be kind to of one another. Tell someone that you love them and I'll see you on the next video.